Believe it or not, there's actually no lead in a pencil. Why? Because as we all know, real lead is poisonous. What we call lead is a non-toxic mineral. It's called graphite and it's been used for hundreds of years. It wasn't until the 1700s that manufacturing techniques were developed. Before the discovery of graphite, soft metals such as lead were often used for writing. An early name for graphite was black lead and the name lead has stuck ever since. Interesting facts, but I still don't have a clue how they get the lead, or should I say graphite, inside the pencil. Oh, I'm not sure. Like cutting, drilling a small hole down the pencil and shoving the lead down there? They cut a hole in it and then slide it in. They slice the graphite down to size and make the pencil hollow and put the graphite inside. Well, first I've got the two pieces of wood and then they put the lead in the slits and then they put glue and they stamp it together. It actually all starts with pieces of wood like this, called slats. The wood is specially chosen to be strong, but easy to sharpen without breaking or splintering. First, grooves are cut into each slat. Then glue is put in the grooves. Graphite is laid in each groove on one side of the slat. Then another slat is pressed on top. Finally, the slat is clamped and pressed together so the glue can dry. Okay, I think I've got it. The bread is the wood, the butter is the glue, and the cheese is the graphite. It sounds so simple. The slats are fed into a complex machine that mechanically carves shallow grooves lengthwise into each slat. A thin coat of glue is applied to every groove as it moves down the line. Every second slat is then separated. One slat has graphite laid in each groove. And then the second separated slat is placed on top. The wood is pressed together and the glue given time to dry. Just like a sandwich, I knew it. 